set. Runners sent on their way from the 1400 metre marker. Being Julio's right there, 11 has the blue blinkers near the rail. Mary Chase is on the outside. They are followed by Art Attack. That's racing with the red cap about four lengths off the leader. Self propelled on the outside. Overly impressed races about four lengths off the leader. Then Spiritos followed by Malouge near the rail. Devon Blue. Mind that Royce Twilight. Young Lass is one of the trailers. That's with the blue cap near the rail about eight lengths off the leader. Being Julia leads it. Mary Chase second. Eleven is at the rail third. Then self propelled. Between runners is overly impressed. That's only about four lengths off the lead. Make that now three. And then comes Art Attack, the yellow head gear. Spiritos is further back, Malou. Young Lass is now being asked to run. And then comes Royce Twilight. Top of the lane, being Julia the leader. Mary Chase, the blue blinkers of 11. Overly impressed is coming out for a run. Art Attack goes in, then Young Lass. Getting to the 200 though, 11 hits the front. And it's 11 from Art Attack, Spiritos and Overly Impressed getting into the race. 11 is still the leader, Overly Impressed and Spiritos on the outside. Art Attack down the inside, Spiritos and Overly Impressed, but Spiritos won it. Second Overly Impressed, then 11 and Art Attack. Number 11, Spiritos, the McGock, wins it well. And under Warren Kennedy for a stable that's bang in form. And this one bred by the Scott brothers. So Spiritos, uh, at the moment, is showing 9.50 the first. Well, it's turned out to be a smart debut for the daughter of McGock. Had a word with Gavin Fenzel during the course of the week. He didn't mention she's a nice filly worth throwing into the trifectas and quartets. But uh, I'm sure on the strength of this field, they wouldn't be surprised that she's come out trumps. Jessica, the assistant trainer for the yard, is on course. And well done to the team, Jess. Thank you very much. Uh, she's uh, in typical female fashion, has been one that's needed a lot of TLC. Um, but we've, Gavin's done a great job of nursing her along, and, and she had a long layoff. And wow, she's come back and just made it all worthwhile. A pleasant surprise all around, I'm sure. Very pleasant. You know, she's been showing really good stuff at track. So we've been quite looking forward to how she runs, and we were obviously pleasantly surprised. So. When I chatted to Gavin during the course of the week, he mentioned work ethic could be the stable's best. Um, you want to give us a bit of confidence there? Yeah, we're quite looking forward to her run. I mean, she's back on the poly, so you know, it's, it's going to be quite interesting to see how she goes. We're hoping that she'll run well. We expect so. Well, give our best to Gav and uh, the rest of the owners here as well. Well played. Thank you very much. Well done to Jess, representing the stable. Let's get Warren Kennedy in. Yeah, Warren, you know, as I mentioned, Gavin did give me comments during the week. He said she's a nice filly. She's worth throwing into the places. So, again, pleasant surprise? Deez, yes and no. Um, about a month ago, she was ready to run, and her work was phenomenal. She's a really smart filly, and her work dipped a bit. And, you know, we backed off her. This week, she started to lift again, but we couldn't have the full confidence that we would have had a month ago with her. And, you know, I said to Gavin, if she's in the first four, it'll be a good run for her. You know, but she brought her A game to the course today. She was very green still. She went down like a professional and just well done to Mark and the guys at the start that got her in. She is a bit temperamental. And it's thanks to them that she, she was able to race and win today. And, you know, good luck to Gavin the connections. You know, the mark of a good horse making their debut is when you ask them to run, they show you that speed. And she had plenty of it this evening. Yeah, she, she, she was quite professional. She was nicely traveling behind them. I had the favorite in my sights. I was right behind him. She got a bit flat-footed, which is expected with a young horse. But when I got the clear run and then I asked her to, to pick it up, she, she responded smartly. Before you leave us, Warren, what could be your next best? Definitely work ethic, Deez. Um, she only won a maiden, but she won emphatically. And um, it's the right sort of race for I think the field isn't, with all due respect, such a powerful race. And um, her work's improved. She's just coming to herself now, and I expect a major run from her. Thanks for that, Warren. The very best. Cheers, Deez. Thanks. Well done to the guys here. And if you caught this quartet race number two, the numbers you'll need, 11, 4, 1, and 8. Coming up next will be the start of this evening's pick six. And that time to jot down will be 19, 15, which is a quarter past seven. We're going to break for a slow-mo and be back for uh, the presentation of the owner of a month.
Welcome back for the presentation of Owner of the Month. And it's gone to uh, an owner who uh, started off the game uh, here in KZN. He's now can see his colors throughout uh, the country. His name is Mario Ferreira. He's a big supporter of the game these days. And a gentleman that helps with all the interviews and manages his horses is none other than Des Gonzalez, who's going to accept on behalf of Mario. Des, just fantastic for Mario to be honored as owner of the month. No, it is. It's a great privilege, uh, Des, and he, he uh, asked me to thank Gold Circle. Uh, for being honored with this award and obviously it's nice that uh, he's getting the, the rewards after putting in all the money. Talking about investment, he spread his wings, he's got horses throughout the country so he's one of the big players now. Yeah, we've got horses with about five uh, trainers now. We've got with Dennis Dreyer, Charles Led, uh, Errol Crawford down in, in uh, Cape Town and then up here with uh, Dennis Bosch and the, our main string is with Louis up in Joburg. I had the pleasure of meeting Mario at a social function, but I'm sure he'll get this DVD. Will we ever see him at the races? <laughs> this, uh, he told us uh, one day when we're running in the group races, he'll come. Eh? Well, please give him our best, and he's been honored as owner of the month and director of Gold Circle, Paul Lafferty, doing the presentation to Mr. Mario Ferreira.